Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing the Sniper Elite franchise on the RX 570. To skip to any of the games tested, check the timestamps down in the description. And if you want to support the channel by buying games for yourself, check the Humble and Amazon affiliate links down in the description as well. On all the games, my target will be 60 frames per second. In this case, I show the highest resolution possible, where high or ultra settings can get to 60. So if you lower the resolution that what's shown in the gameplay footage, expect higher FPS overall. But most of these we are GPU bound. So the first Sniper Elite would be at 4K using the widescreen patch. You can find it down in the description. It runs totally fine at over 150 FPS. And I'll talk to you again in the next game. Elite V2 Remastered, so this is the version of the game that was released this year with improved graphics, we get better lighting, 3D models for main characters, more clutter and better textures. Personally I was expecting a bigger difference on this one compared to the original, I will still get high frame rates, using 1800p which is 3200 by 1800 we managed to hit 60 fps most of the time. Looking into the distance is usually where the performance suffers the most. I have a more in-depth video on this one if you're interested down in the description. And I'll talk to you again in the next game. Zombie Army Trilogy, this is a zombie mode made using the Sniper Elite V2 engine. It was sold at separate chapters and after all those were done we got this version that bundles all three, which includes many maps to play solo or with three other people. It is quite challenging, I have to say, due to the amount of characters on screen plus the heavier use of effects in comparison to Sniper Elite V2, forced me to go for 1440p which gets us over 60 most of the time with huge drops when you throw a grenade. This happens to me on any hardware I use to test this game, and I'll talk to you again in the next game.
Sniper Elite 3, in this one we get a bigger graphical jump, especially on X-ray cameras. This makes sense since it was the last game of the series to come out on PS3 and Xbox 360 and was introduced to the PS4 and Xbox One. By selecting 1440p and max settings you get over 60 FPS most of the time until there is a good amount of effects on screen. The very first level is a good example of this. To improve it in those moments, lower shadows one option below and it should be okay. I'll talk to you again in the next game. Germans are using Nebelwerfers. I have to do something about them. They won't hear me approach if I crouch. Time to use the well rod. And finally, Sniper Lead Four one of the best DX12 implementations on a game at least in my opinion. I chose one of the forest levels, due to the big amounts of foliage, trees and volumetric effects, I got the biggest performance hit I could find so far, so expect better numbers on other levels. To get to 60 frames per second I needed to lower reflection, shadow and draw distance from ultra to high. Consider using ultra on other levels since they will be less demanding. But yeah, not much to worry about here, the game still runs pretty good. But anyway guys, that's about it, I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time.
so. Truck's carrying ammo. 